Yes, Salami, and yes, Salami. Caring for a child on the autism spectrum or with language delays is stressful and challenging at times. Do I just give it to you because I don't want to give it to you? We feel a little Parents have also told us that once they learn how to strategically respond to their children's behavior and see their children start to progress. Oh, hi. Well, I have to lead it to be. You calmed yourself down. I have to that lead was it nice. To... They feel rewarded and fulfilled by their efforts and the new journey. My hopes in the Incredible Years program was uh, to really, um, I wasn't sure if it was going to help me with Amelia. I hoped it would, but I wasn't sure how to apply it to a child with autism. Our first couple classes that just kept going through my head, how do I apply this to a child on the spectrum? How do I apply this? Which later on it was a no-brainer. <laughs> I could, but I didn't know that at the beginning. Thank you so much. Remember, it's important to also consider the needs of your family and especially to take care of yourself. Take time to give and get emotional support from your partner, other family members, friends, and your child's preschool teacher. Share some of the techniques you have learned with them so your child's learning opportunities will increase. Yes, please. Yes, please. There you go. <laughs> Good spinning, Truman. Give child-directed special time to your other children as well and help them understand why their sibling with autism sometimes doesn't play or talk with them. Many parents find it helpful to be in a parent group to share joys and sorrows and ideas with other parents in a supportive and collaborative way. Whenever you're using the ignore, there's a whole lot of positive for the other behavior that you want instead. It was very interesting to be in a group with other parents, to see that some parents practiced a lot of the techniques and had good success. Learning parenting skills with other parents in the same situation was huge. I know you don't like me, Mommy. You don't like me. If you liked me, you'd tell me you liked me. I think the Incredible Years class definitely brought a lot more details into it. Good work. That was great. You found a... You found a ball. A ball. Let's review a few of the principles we have discussed in this program that will help promote your child's optimal social, emotional, and language development. Schedule times daily to engage in interactive child-directed play using prompts and modeling to get your child's attention. Thanks for handing me that. It's my turn. Oh, and for handing me the squirrel. Spotlight the social behaviors and language you want to encourage. Hudson, can you look at me with your eyes? Look at my eyes. Oh, the balloon, please. All right. What a nice look. Thank you. Remember, you can maximize your child's learning by using these play strategies during meals, bedtime routines, and your other caregiving routines. Use descriptive commenting narrations, pre-academic, persistence, social and emotional coaching strategies during child-directed playtimes. You switched it to go in red because it matches with the red? Yeah. Oh, that's so smart. Use physical sensory routines, praise, and salient rewards to motivate your child's interest in using targeted social skills. We'll do it together. Ready? Good practice. Teach your child self-regulation skills using puppets, books, and imaginary play. Hi, I'm going to try again. I feel better. Teach your child how to follow instructions and use reminders, redirections, distractions, and choices to preempt misbehavior. We're going to look at the pictures for two minutes, okay? I'm going to set the timer for that. Withdraw your attention and ignore misbehaviors that are not hurtful to others or to themselves. Baba, to try again, Baba. Return your attention just as soon as a positive behavior is used. Oh, thank you for being gentle. Mwah. Oh, mwah. Pace yourself one step at a time. You are gentle. Remember, every time a negative behavior is not reinforced with your attention, but instead a positive opposite behavior is rewarded with your attention and coaching, a productive learning opportunity has occurred. Indeed, every interaction with your child is a potential learning opportunity. What's he doing with his mouth? He's, he's, he's licking. He's licking? He's sticking out his tongue, yeah. <laughs>